Alright, so in this video we're going to discuss the most powerful thing about Git, as far as I'm concerned, and that's um, how easy it is to branch and merge. <coughs> First off, take a look at Git branch, which shows you the branches it knows about and which branch you're on. The standard sort of branch is master. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new one. I don't know. It's got a moo. It's created a new branch. It shows us we're on master because that's where the asterisk is there. And then we created a second branch called moo. What can we do? All right. Well, we can check out moo. At which point now we're on moo. So what? Excuse me. What? Purposes this serve? Well, let's have a look. Create that file, moo branch.txt. Mind you, we're in the moo branch, so moo branch.txt, commit moo branch.txt. There. So we've just added a commit. You can see it in git log. You can see we added moo branch. And before that is all the history that we did in the previous videos. So there it is, Moo branch. So now if I check out master again, that's a different branch. Where's Moo branch gone? It's gone. It was there, then we checked checked out master and now it's gone again. Even worse, if we do get log, our commit's gone because we've switched branches. So we can go and have a look. That's where we are. Git checkout move. And there it is again. It's back. There's our commit again. So this commit only applied to that one branch. So what we did essentially was this. We had our, well actually we have three commits now, don't we? So we have these three first commits, there and there, <laughs> and let's call this. Well, no, we, we we then branched to say, let's say, oh, let's pick a different color. Let me do this. Let's pick red. Can you set that? I don't know. Whatever. Just make it red. So let's say we created this branch called moo and we added this fourth commit. So let's call this moo. Which points to that one. That's because we could see the log there. Uh, if we take a look. In the log we just see this uninterrupted right, these four commits. So that's what we had in moo. And then so this is moo. But then in master, it looked like this. This is terrible. Okay. So when we switch from to master, we only see these three things, and we miss that moo that moo file. When we switch to moo, we get this additional commit, and obviously all the changes in it. So we can sort of see that you switch from different states of the repository from the one branch to the next branch. From Subversion this you know, should seem pretty familiar. Um, in Subversion obviously your branches are tracked in different directories, that's a bit weird. In Git it's all hidden from you. It's all secret. So when you check out that branch it restores, it sets all of the um, files and stuff that you need for that branch. Um, but so let's do something else. Let's see what happens if we do do go to monster and um, there, create a new file. There, that's in the working directory now. Now we add the file to staging. I'm going to go ahead and commit it. Now we've got an additional file in the master branch. Now obviously when we check out back, moo, uh, back to moo, 
Uh, we miss Master Branch, but we get Moo Branch back, and obviously we 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 lose that Master Branch commit, and we get the Moo Branch commit. So now it looks like this. Now it looks like this, basically. And Git really doesn't number these, but you know, in, just for the sake of complete list. So you can see wh why this would be useful. You can, I could. We could just fork our um, development at some point. In this case, we we basically diverged here. This is the first, most recent commit that both branches have in common. Is this one? So let's make a different color. So it's sort of a blue one. This one. It's three. It's the first commit that we all have in common both branches and then they sort of diverge this one, master goes in this direction with the master branch this one uh, file and this one goes in this direction with the moo branch file so what do we do now well we, we can both go our own separate ways this is just a fork and that might be fine but at some point we may want to bring them all together again right this say say in the move branch, you've, you've separated out this move branch, and you you do a couple more commits to add a feature to whatever software software you're making, and then the master branch. This is a, is like a bug fix or, or something, um, and at one point you'll want to merge this move branch back into the master branch, and obviously we can do that. See where are we? <coughs> so we go to check out master. And we say git merge moo. Bam. And what this does is this. I'll show you in a second. Um, this take you, you you check out master and you merge moo into it. So like we said here, we, we go to master and then we merge moo into our current branch. And what it does, if we take a look at log now, we're still in master, we take a look at log, is we see we have access to both masterbranch.txt and moobranch.txt. Is that true? Well, yes it is. There it is. There's masterbranch.txt, there's moobranch.txt. Yep, <coughs> so we can see that these are the, the commits from both sides of the merge. But what's this one? What's that one? Well, that's a merge commit. That's what, because this is what it looks like. Yeah, there it is. This is what it actually looks like. It creates this additional commit that points to that commit and also that one. That's how that works. If we were to start in Moo, so if we checked out Moo and then merged master into Moo, then that commit would be on this side. That would be on, on, sorry, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but that would be on that side. But since we were checked out master and then merged Moo into master, we can s set this um, merge commit into the master. But it doesn't really matter because it points to both. There's no real preference here. Um, ba, 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 ba. It just depends on which of the two branches it f it forwards, because the Moo branch still exists. The Moo branch still exists. It only has four commits. It only has its own Moo branch.txt commit. So Moo still sits here. I'll just I'll make this a bit more clear, because that's the way it actually I need a bigger eraser there. Uh, master, go away. Make this a bit more clear. So we take the... make it red again. M moo points to that commit. Master... Ooh, that's painful. Points to that commit. See, in the beginning, when we when we started out, master was pointing to that one. Then we f branched and created we created the moo branch. At first, the moo branch pointed to that one as well. 
Then we created a commit in the Moo branch, and then Moo was pointing there. Right? It sort of uh, moved ahead the the pointer. It, it skipped along the commit to the next one. The master used to be flush right there. Then we created the Moo branch. We created another commit, the master branch commit on the master branch, and we the master was pointing to that commit. Now that we've merged, we have this extra commit and the master is actually pointing to that. So it used to be there, then we created this merge commit and the master branch is the one that we merged into, so that's the one that had to be um, forwarded to this next commit. The move branch is still sitting fine at its old position. It doesn't know about this commit. I hope that's clear. I don't know. Um, <laughs> It makes sense to me. I don't know if I can explain it any clearer. The interesting thing is, uh, where are we? If we have a look at this master branch, we have this commit, which is that merge commit, and what we'd expect, if we take a look at that, is exactly this. We should see this commit has two parents. And of course, we. This is not right. Oh, yeah, raw, isn't it? We should use cat file. Oh well. So now, we, yeah, we see that it has two parents. Uh, so, we see that parent. That's our master branch.txt. And this parent should be the move branch txt so it works out see um, so yeah that's what branching and merging is of, of course after you've um, merged the move back into the master and you don't need it anymore what you can do is delete the move branch now it's gone so what it does it doesn't actually delete this commit. This commit's now in there. It's in there for all time, right? This is now the shape of our of our history. At one point, there was this fork, and then there was this merge that merged them both together. All it does is just remove this label there. There's now, oops, there's now no more moo branch to check into. It's gone, but the commit's still there. It's now no different from any other commit. There's no more line, and all we have left is the master. And as long as you can actually reach all the commits, you're fine. So that's a very basic first look at merging. Um, hope you enjoy that. Um, I'll see you in the next video.